Be on the road. You'll need one shredded rotisserie chicken, corn tortillas, one pre-cooked large potato, one tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, finely shredded iceberg lettuce, finely shredded medium cheddar cheese. And for our salsa, I've already boiled three tomatoes, two serranos, one fourth of an onion, three chiles de arbol, half a tablespoon of salt. And I know this is not a traditional item for your salsa, but it's gonna enhance the flavor like you would at your restaurant or your taco shop. And it's because our tomatoes have already been cooked and they're nice and sweet and just absolutely delicious. And you know how when sometimes you get those tomatoes that lack color, well, you're gonna to wanna to use a can of your tomato sauce. And now you're just gonna blend until smooth. Ah, stop the show, stop the show. I forgot the cilantro. I forgot the cilantro, you guys. <laughs> and now add your cilantro. Don't be like me, okay? But even if you forget, we can still, you know, blend it. <laughs> and now we're gonna blend it till smooth. And boom, done. Squeeze your lemon or lime juice to taste. Crumble your Mexican oregano in your hands. And for those of you that are using, you know, store-bought oregano, you guys are gonna make um, pasta sauce. <laughs> so be careful with that. One's minty, one has floral notes. So yep. make sure that it says Mexican oregano. We love them both, but for- Thanks for the tip, Cloud. Thank <laughs> you. So go ahead and just mix your ingredients. And all you have to do is, once you're done combining all your ingredients, you just have to taste for salt or citrus, but this will last in the refrigerator a good five to seven days. Just make sure you're using a clean spoon and the kids are messing around in there. You know who I'm talking about. These kids Jr. just opened their eyes all big. Like, ah. They're innocent little hands. They are. To a large bowl, you're gonna add your pre-cooked potatoes and you wanna mash them really good. Someone's gonna look at me really funky after what I say, but I'm gonna tell you, if you don't wanna do this part, you can use a little bit of mashed potatoes from the box. Yeah, do it. Do it and tag me, okay? I say me, I tag us on social media and our other platforms. We'd love to see. We have a cringe saying around here and it goes something like this. Make, Make it comfortable, comfortable for your home. <laughs> Next, you're gonna add your delicious shredded chicken. You can also use shredded pork, shredded beef, you name it, you can do it, okay? You got this. Oh, you kept the juiciness on there. Thanks, Cloud. You're welcome. You're gonna add your onion powder. If you don't wanna use onion powder, you can use garlic powder or your favorite seasonings. Black pepper, because it just goes well with chicken. And then we're just gonna combine all our ingredients, okay? And when I'm combining, I'm kind of squeezing so that the potatoes can get attached to the chicken, just like I'm attached to Cloud. <laughs> and we can enjoy these tacos without having everything pop all over us. Am I the chicken or the potato? You get to choose. I'm definitely the potato. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> I've already pre-warmed our tortillas and now it's time to fill them up. This recipe is great for meal prep tacos. Just fry them a little bit and then freeze them and then you're set. <laughs> it's that easy. So I'm just gonna make a lot of tacos today until I run out of my ingredients. Do you feel that steam? No, I don't feel it, but I'm sure you can. I like to give it a little squeeze and that helps keep all the potatoes and the ingredients. And you know how when you're frying, everything just pops off. We don't want anybody talking back today. Nobody. <laughs> Ooh, tan calientes. I'm just gonna continue here with the remaining tacos. So hang tight, friends. I have my oven set at 150 degrees. This is gonna allow me to fry our tacos and also keep them crispy by the time I have to serve my family. Okay, that's gonna be up to you. You wanna move quickly here. Your oil needs to be nice and hot, no smoke coming out of it. And we're gonna be skimming. As soon as you see any kind of potato flakes or chicken, you wanna remove them because that's gonna pop on you. So please be careful.
If you notice, I positioned the taco so that in case there's oil shooting through in and out of the taco, it doesn't splash on anybody. So you wanna angle the end to where there's nobody around, okay? This is gonna be a more of a medium experience chef, but um, if you're gonna be frying and it's your first time, you can start one by one and that's okay. Just make sure to turn on your oven. These tacos should take you anywhere from one and a half minute to two minutes if your oil is perfect, okay? And it wouldn't be homemade if at least one of them didn't over crisp, okay? It's fine, eat it. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna place these uh, into the oven so they can stay nice and crispy. And I'm gonna continue with the remaining tacos. My cilantro lime rice is just about ready, so I just need to add our cilantro. And if you want a recipe uh, for this rice, I'm gonna link it in the description area for you. It's super easy and pretty much everything you eat just ends up being a lot lighter. Almost like if you're having a salad or something, <laughs> it works. A lot of you end up breaking your tacos when you're filling them up. Just slightly open them and you're gonna push with your finger in, just like this, okay? And these tacos are known for a lot of cheddar and that's exactly what we're gonna do here. I don't know who's hungry, are you guys or me today? That's my stomach for sure this time. <laughs> Let the cheese fall down. And break my dreams. <laughs> what was the one that's called Hillary Duff? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let the rain fall down. That Let one? it wash away. Finish it in the comments. She's a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Sweet angels. If you're wondering why I have these parchment papers and it's not a restaurant yet, um, it's because it's a lot easier cleanup. Take your plate. Boom. And boom. And boom. And just because they're kids, it doesn't mean they don't eat with their eyes. They love the paper, you know, it's an the experience The sound, it really is. It makes you feel like you're eating at the taco shop. And I think I got a bunch of these for like 12 or so dollars and they last a really long time for me. And it's easy cleanup. I don't want to wash the dishes. That's not my thing, guys. Not in the summertime. <laughs> for the sweet baby. For the sweet angels. They're going to love you for this and you're going to love yourself because you don't have to wash the dish. Just rinse it a little bit. Not too much scrubbing and wash that. I like to serve my tacos with something to nibble on like you would at a taco shop. So we have some sliced tomatoes, cucumber, radish, onions, a little bit of serrano, and some lime so that you can squeeze it over the top and just get to munching. All right, I'm gonna need somebody very special to say ah. Uh. I heard here's like here. I'll hold it for you so you can take a big bite for our friends. Looks like it's from a taco shop. Like from a taco shop? Yes. That's what I've been craving. I've been talking about it for a few days and yummy, yummy. Mmm. I'm close. You went all the way. Where did you go? Where did you go? Did I they was take you to Dreamland? The tacos took you to Dreamland. <laughs> Welcome back, sweetie. Here you go, babe. If you want another one, come back and get it, okay? okay. Gonna say bye to our friends? Bye. Later. Oh, you're not gonna tell them that your mom's 40 years old now? Oh, and it was her birthday yesterday. So, so comment down below to show her a happy birthday emoji. <laughs> Again? How sweet. How sweet. All right, baby, you're up. And it wouldn't be summer if I didn't have somebody else that wanted a taco. So, here you go. I'll hold it for you and you can munch. I got it. Mm. <laughs> you guys know that's good. Let us know if you make these tacos. Don't forget to tag us. And you know, it's going to be easy cleanup for us so that we can continue to have a good time for this summer. Because right when I'm done cleaning, they're going to be hungry again. And if you're with me, let me know in the comments. I don't know what's in the water. What happened but the kids are hungry you just have two little dudes two little dudes that love to eat That's and work out so we have reasons right mm -hmm. yeah all right there you go as always cloud and i are wishing you the best we absolutely adore you i want to remind you to stay hydrated before you start watching our recipes i always encourage you to have a cup of water and on that one we'll see you guys tomorrow bye Adios.